compassionate greetings in a moment that has displaced many in several countries due to the unforetold effects of an earthquake. It is understood by Gaia that these events have a devastating, displacing effect upon humanity. I tell you now, as always, this is never the desire of Gaia. It is, however, that you must remember that the earth, like you, is a living being. I also am constructed in such a way that movement is necessary, that evolution comes. It comes. It comes from within. It reveals itself without. Resources come and go, shift and change. And the weather makes a day unique, as each pulse, as each heartbeat, is also unique. The earth has now entered, like humanity, a time in which change is at an accelerated pace. Of course, in many ways you would congratulate yourself for this, for a farther-reaching vision, for a deeper compassion, for understanding the purpose of all living things. And yet, as change continues to escalate, it will bring to you certain situations that you must also learn to master or, at the very least, to make peace with. The time now for the earth to shift and to change will continue to grow, to escalate. So there will be more earthquakes, more movements of the earth, more shifts in time, in space, in the linear movements that the earth takes. These will be in both hemispheres. They will move from east to west. There will be those that are less in magnitude and those that are greater than what you have witnessed thus far. It is the way of the earth now. I give to you a simple metaphor to use. Imagine that you are traveling at a very great speed, but you are about to turn in one direction or another. At least temporarily, you must decelerate just for a moment in order to have your bearings, in order to steer or move more gracefully or more correctly. However, the thought, even when you have the thought to decelerate, that very thought begins to cause a change in your vehicle. Using that same metaphor, it is true of the earth. The very thought, the very movement of the earth coming into a unique and different alignment causes then a change at the very core of the earth. That change radiates outward and many times confers upon the earth what you call an earthquake. At the core of the earth, there is what you would imagine to be an umbilicus that also has a match on the earth floor. One of the induction areas of this umbilicus is nearer to your far east. There, deep, there is an entrance of sorts to the deeper layers of the earth. This is one of the reasons why radiating from there, there will be greater earthquake activity. Through these areas, the changes will come. What you call tsunamis then, move outward in all directions, carrying change, carrying the vibrations that emanated deep within moving them all around the globe. So it is not simply water that is being displaced in the form of a wave, 
because an earthquake has taken place. It is energy that is moving, adjusting, and shifting in all directions. I tell you now that this earthquake was not caused by those that would consider causing the earth harm in order to control the earth or its population. It is one of the theories that is put forth at this time, as it always has, be it those who make their way on planet or off planet. It is a natural event with a natural and beneficial cause and effect regardless of what it will look like. To predict future earthquakes is difficult. It is difficult to say what way energy travels. It travels. It moves in all directions. It is difficult to say when a change has been enacted in the core of the earth exactly where it will erupt upon the earth or whether it will come through a volcano or through an earthquake. I tell you that this year, your 2011 year, will have more earthquakes than other eruptions and that they again will be of both hemispheres. And now I say to you that the energy moves then to the west, so it is to be considered that it is likely that on the northern and western hemisphere that is the next likely place. What can you do for yourself or for the earth is to measure yourself by the earth. Measure your day, measure your pulse, measure the heartbeat to be in sync with the earth. Just as you have attuned yourself to the pleasure of listening to the sounds of the whales make their song, because you believe that in some way it has a beneficial effect for you. I will tell you that the earth also makes a sound, a song, a hum of a particular and fluctuating frequency. Where you can attune yourself to this, where you can have it near enough to you to hear it or to feel it, it will place you a little bit more in tune with the earth. I tell you that you will feel the earth, Gaia, speak to you, with you, softly, gently, perhaps even abruptly. It is a way to stay in tune and in measure with the earth. It is not a guarantee of premonition. It is not an early warning system. It is communication. It is depth. It is acknowledgement to be one with the earth in the ways that you can. The earth is not now or ever in wrath or in angst regarding humanity. Earthquakes are not the result of what resources you have used, taken, given, usurped or mismanaged. These are readily for humanity and you will move and shift and change and the earth as you already know, can remake these, can remove these or restore these. It is a time then for you to recognize the acceleration of change, of hope, of faith. It is time to reconfigure what you can. It is time for walls or barriers or boundaries to come down where you can do this within your own being, whether it is with your thoughts or your feelings or your life's direction, so much the better. In terms of preparedness, you are prepared. You are prepared for this and for this time, as you always have been. Therefore, remind yourselves of that. Be most present in your life, in your bodies, in your day. Do not imagine that others will prepare for you, but imagine, know, that you already are prepared and that you are prepared to be of assistance to others as you have always promised that you would. Earthquakes are not occurrences of every day, but 
You have come into a time where they will be sparsed by weeks and months rather than years. It is an accelerated time. Use that to your advantage. Look to your own resources, to your own truths, to what ways you can decelerate some aspects of your life that do not serve you and accelerate others that are of benefit to you. You are rounding the curve now. Rounding the curve, headed for the next age as one ever so gently, hopefully, will come to a conclusion. The earth has many different ways to change itself. One of these ways allows just underneath the crust and the mantle to liquefy, liquefaction just a bit, so that energy can slide from one point to another without needing to create the abrupt edges where it must, in fact, conflict. Therefore, see where in your life you can do the same. Where can you allow energies, thoughts and feelings to soften so they can glide or gloss over one another rather than bumping up against conflict? I bring you peace. I bring you awareness. I bring you compassionate greetings, as always. I bid you good day.